There are more than 6 billion consumers of milk and milk products. Over 750 million people live within dairy farming households. Milk is a key contributor to improving nutrition and security, particularly in developing countries. When it comes to India, it is the largest milk producer in the world. Phase 3 of Operation Flood enabled the dairy industry to flourish and thus entered private companies who produced and processed milk. Numax Food Private Limited is one such company that processes milk for Nutra Milk and Milk products. In mid uh, 1990, the government delicensed the dairy sector and the private sector had come into picture. Since we had already established an FMCG line, we thought of setting up a dairy unit. I threw this idea to my classmates, Mainsami and Dakshamuti. In 2004, we formed this company to do something for the rural folks. But what sets Nutra apart is care taken at every stage, from milking to the processing, right till the final product reaches the market. Maintaining high quality standards is most important to them. There is a way to do business and there is a right way to do business. Our aim is to benefit all the stakeholders, right from rural farmers, employees, shareholders, distributors, dealers, and then customers, in the process the service providers like transporters. Our ethics is just to deal on strict quality control products. Thus, we are able to uh, deliver a better product to the customers. And in the process, all the stakeholders who I have mentioned got benefited. Only great quality raw material gives a great quality product and Nutra follows this theory seriously. Immense care is taken to provide farmers with high quality cattle feed. Also procedures like artificial insemination are followed to improve the quality of milk which in turn helps the company and the end customer. Cattle feed plays a major role these days There's particularly the availability of water is sinking day by day and cattle feed as a concentrate plays a pivotal role in increasing the productivity and also reducing the cost of production per litre of milk. In addition to these two factors, the milk quality in terms of fat and SNF also is enhanced by giving better quality cattle feed. So for this purpose, we ensure supply of cattle feed to the farmers on a regular basis and we are, as they are finding it difficult to make payment at one sort, we require the cost from the milk value on, on a weekly basis. In fact, we supply cattle feed of different qualities matching with the nutrient requirements of different types of cattle. One example is the high yielding cattle, they need specialized feed. So we encourage the use of cattle feed by all the farmers and we also support them by supplying cattle feed. Artificial insemination we are encouraging in a big way and we also support it through our own veterinarians. Always thinking of increasing milk production, one of the ways adopted by Nutra is to encourage the farmers to give high quality output rather than high quantity. The milk production enhancement and the support from our side involves three types of activities. One is the milk procurement activity itself. That uh, during the last nine years, we are not refused or we are not stopped milk procurement from the farmers even for a single day. Another aspect is prompt payment because most of the suppliers they are very small farmers they depend on payment for milk for their weekly purchase of provisions and all again here also we have made payment without delay of a, even a single day throughout the last uh, nine years period on some occasions like uh, Deepavali, Onam and uh, those days we advance the payment so that the cash is available with them on the day of festival. And another aspect is the quality based payment because farmers expect prompt payment, not only prompt payment, they want payment purely based on quality what they are supplied. That is assured by going for this uh, collection center system where 
the testing is done in front of them and payment is also the payment slip is also given on the spot other activities are related to extension programs where we use our procurement staff and give support to the farmers in cattle rearing clean milk production and uh, maintenance of the cattle and cattle shed fodder development all these activities we give support to them so combined effect of this uh, extension programs provides an operation of inputs on prompt procurement all these helps in, in increasing the producti uh, productivity and procurement at the farmer level procuring milk as an activity is as important as a marketing strategy for the dairy industry and nutra gives special attention to this activity as a primary concept we procure milk from the farmers through milk collection centers located in the villages basically in this system we set up a chilling uh, collection center at the village and the farmers they bring the milk to the collection centers there we take the weight and also we take samples from each farmer sample and test it for both fat and snf this ensures that the farmer who brings good quality milk gets better price and this is done twice daily in all the collection centers in addition to this we also have two more systems of procurement one is we engage milk vendors who, who go and procure milk from the farmers at the farm farm itself because those farmers they are unable to bring the milk to the so uh, centers these cases we are procuring milk from the farmers at the farm gate and in fact there are one more set of farmers who rear the cattle but they are unable to do the milking or bring the milk to the milk collection center those cases we engage milk uh, vendors who also do the milking at the farm level they go to each farm they do the milking and bring the milk to the collection center operated by us uh, the dairy industry the most important factor which affects the viability is the fluctuation in milk procurement and marketing what happens during the rainy season the production goes up at the same time demand comes down whereas during the summer season there is a sudden spurt in demand and uh, due to various factors including heat stress less availability of fodder and all the production comes down in our case we have assured to to all our farmers that we will accept all the milk which are supplying throughout the year so this is possible only by an, uh, adopting both long term and short term strategies to handle the fluctuations yes we are purchasing the entire volume from the farmers in the plus season or the rainy season we do have surplus milk but this surplus milk we convert into ghee milk powder and value added products so that there is no restriction on the milk procurement